Hey guys, Dane from Scog and Dickey Parts Center, and we are back in here with another tech video. Uh, this one is going to be in regard to your valve train. So this one is something that we were discussing a little bit, uh, just kind of amongst ourselves whenever we were doing the dyno video with the uh, 6.4 Hemi the, this past week. And something that we had talked about was actually about the push rod diameter uh, on that specific engine. Uh, with the majority of our regular kits that we had, a lot of those did not go over uh, 600 lift for our, our Hemi camshaft packages. And a few of the ones that we tested actually went over uh, 600 lift. And so the push rod that we had in there originally uh, that was normally coming with that kit was doing just fine. But then when we actually moved to beyond 600 lift, we actually ran into a slight little issue. The push rod started to wear on the outside wall uh, right around the casting of the cylinder head. So this is something that, you know, luckily it wasn't really a, a major issue uh, with the uh, with the, these push rods because we caught it. Uh, it was on the Indian dyno. It's not like you were running this, you know, for thousands of miles in a street vehicle. Uh, but it's something to be mindful of is valve train geometry. So some of these things, you might have a push rod that works just fine and you don't have any issues with one, one you know, certain level of lift with the, uh, one camshaft or another. And then, you know, you make a change either to your geometry, change the camshaft or anything else like that. And so sometimes you might have other issues, whether it be casting overhang, flash, uh, or just, you know, the, the actual uh, hole that the push rod goes through might be a little bit crowded. Uh, so there, this is something that, that happens even on, you know, big blocks, small blocks, all sorts of other engines as well. That just be mindful whenever you're doing any changes to your engine to pay attention to what's going on around it. Maybe spin it over a little bit by hand with the valve covers off. Make sure everything looks good. Uh, this one is, is, it's not catastrophic or anything, but, you know, a little bit of rubbing here and there, that's a little bit of lost horsepower, uh, including, you know, you end up getting a disco party in your oil pan. So once again, uh, thanks for stopping by. It was just a really quick tech tip. If you guys have got any other questions or would like for us to cover anything else, uh, feel free to comment in the videos, uh, like, share, subscribe. Uh, give us a phone call as well. Uh, we've got plenty of uh, our tech guys that are able to help you out. If you've got any questions or you're trying to spec out anything for your own builds, uh, we'll, we'll be glad to help you. So. Thanks again. We'll see you guys next week for another tech video.